Over the past 118 days, our vaccination program has led the world. And today, we're taking an additional step to help the world. We know America will never be fully safe until the pandemic that's raging globally is under control. No oceans wide enough, no walls high enough to keep us safe. Rampant disease and death in other countries can destabilize them, those countries, and pose a risk to us as well. New variants could arise overseas that could put us at greater risk. And we need to help fight the disease around the world to keep us safe here at home and to do the right thing of helping other people. It's the right thing to do. It's the smart thing to do. It's the strong thing to do. In March, we shared over 4 million doses of our AstraZeneca vaccine with Canada and Mexico. At the end of April, we announced that we would provide another 60 million doses of our AstraZeneca va vaccine overseas. Remember, this is the vaccine that's not authorized for use in the United States yet, so we're going to be sending it to folks once the FDA has reviewed this and said it's safe. This is all the AstraZeneca vaccine produced in the United States. All of it will be sent to other countries. And today, I'm announcing they will also share U.S. authorized vaccine doses of Pfizer and Moderna and Johnson & Johnson as they become available with the rest of the world as well. These are vaccinations and vaccines that are authorized to be put in arms of Americans. And by the end of June, when we will have taken delivery of enough of such vaccines to protect everyone in the United States, the United States will share at least 20 million of those doses, that extra supply with other countries. This means over the next six weeks, the United States of America will send 80 million doses overseas. That represents 13 percent of the vaccines produced by the United States by the end of June. This will be more vaccines than any country has actually shared to date, five times more than any other country, more than Russia, China, which have donated 15 million doses. You know, there's a lot of talk about Russia and China influencing the world with vaccines. We want to lead the world with our values, with this demonstration of our innovation and genuity and the fundamental decency of the American people. Just as in World War II, America was the arsenal of democracy in the battle against COVID-19 pandemic, our nation is going to be the arsenal of vaccines for the rest of the world. We'll share these vaccines in the service of ending the pandemic everywhere. And we will not use our vaccines to secure favors from other countries. We'll work with COVAX, the international organization set up, and other partners to ensure that the vaccines are delivered in a way that is equitable and that follows the science and the public health data. Today's announcement to share 80 million doses is our next step as we ramp up the efforts to respond to COVID-19 around the world. In the weeks ahead, working the world with the world's democracies, we'll coordinate a multilateral effort to end this pandemic. I expect to announce progress in this area at the G7 summit in the United Kingdom in June, which I plan on attending. This is a unique moment in history, and it requires American leadership. But I want to be clear. Beating this pandemic globally is beyond the capacity of any one nation, even the United States. But we'll continue, the United States will continue to donate our excess supply as that supply is delivered to us, but that won't be nearly enough. We need, what we need to do is lead an, an, an entirely new effort, an effort that involves working with the pharmaceutical companies and others and partner nations to vastly increase supply, to create most of it here in the United States, the kind of capacity that can beat this pandemic worldwide. 